Shalom, everybody. Welcome to Hebraic Faith TV. Listen, welcome to Hebraic Faith TV. If it's not the Ruach, it's not us. We strive to bring you all Ruach-led content, things that's going to bless your soul, things that's just definitely going to kickstart you. Take a look at this. This is the second annual Hebron's Men's Gathering. This would happen at the first. You need to be at the next one. In times. Uh, you can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I know my worth. Yeah. Oh, they say misery loves company. Yeah. Show me how you won't get love. Uh, you show me hate, you gon' get love for me These ain't raps, these evil spirituals I tell them guard you like they wanna steal your glow I started this with 60 second videos Slight work, came up with this in like 5 minutes bro I'm thankful for this talent that he's given me At this point I can write about anything no, for real, he give me songs soon as it cross my mind. I hear the beat, connect the dots, and all the bars around. He rapping not against flesh, he's talking about it. He's seen to see something in you that's hard to find. That's why they talking down. You can put no fear in me, don't cross the line. I'm a work in progress. No matter what I'm going through, I know who I belong to. Them haters want to turn your smile into a frown. But never let them bring you down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Uh. I won't sell my soul, I know my You're going to sow that space in between those vineyards as our ancestors did, as they still they say that part of the world today company. for the exact same reason. You got to California, where land is you show me ugly, nasty, and expensive. None from and me. you see vineyards. No, 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 no. Uh, I got to do better, I. I got an idea, get some signs, and we should set up shop. Word. They need to hear this word on every block. Hey, LC, I'm saying, saying, if you can't secure it, my brother here knows. If you can't secure it, it's not your Faithful servant, that's true success. Faith and works, he'll do the rest. It's now or never, even through trial and error. Said he would never forsake me, and I don't doubt him ever. I pray his mercies are newer as every second passes. He gave us second chances. I can't take your grace for granted. That would be tragic when it's said and done. No matter what I'm going through, I know who I belong to. Finding creative ways to get the youth to listen to songs about biblical laws and our Savior's crucifixion. Enter the kingdom as a child. He gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Never let them bring you down. Yeah. In the day, how you going to Yo, the rock, the rock. Yeah. yeah. What you crying for? What you complain about? Three. No, seriously, take a breath. How many people want to do that? They can't. Walk outside. Some people ain't got free. They ain't gonna never see the light of day. You know what I mean? I can't front, I do it too. I need somebody to check me. I need you to edify me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thankful for being alive. I am so thankful for being alive. Today was a good day. I opened my eyes. Yeah. I woke up today. So many can't say the same. I can't complain. Yeah. I'm thankful for being alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't quit, I, you just hit a bump in the road. You detoured when you thought you had it under control. Whether you winning or losing, you stuck with your soul. Focus on eternity, happiness comes and it goes. Praying you'll see a miracle when they right under your nose. Today you woke up and your heart was beating and you started breathing. Just for you, I made this one for the road. This for the car when you on the way to that job that you hit. You want to keep the feast days, but it's hard to escape. Yo, they requested you on the Sabbath, now you about to quit. It's like with every commandment, they want the opposite. Meanwhile, you staying positive, you need a job to live. Uh, a couple questions to settle that. Like, would the father have us living check to check? Subject to payments buried by several debts. I'm thankful for this life, but I pray heaven's next. I am so thankful for being alive. 
Today was a good day. I opened my eyes. Yeah, I woke up today. So many can't say the same. I can't complain. I'm thankful for being alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh. I know why I'm living, my purpose is serving others Never despise the father's correction, I learned to love it Carnal minds don't want the truth, they want their version of it Worldly riches are temporal, I noticed them turning colors His treasures are never tarnished Started to study harder, it made me a better artist They asking me what's your secret He fed you manna from heaven, you wanna run to Egypt? So shoppers like, am I really my brother's keeper? You are if you love your people We living like kamikaze, ambulances, cops and sirens When we gon' stop the violence? Quote the scripture, it's an awkward silence I can sing a song that'll calm the climate Don't just talk about it, we walk about it The covenant, our fathers forgot it We remember now it's a door for the sheep to enter Believe on Christ and you gon' be saved I'ma keep it simple Get that Holy Spirit in you and so keep it in I am so thankful for being alive Today was a good day I opened my eyes Yeah I woke up today So many can't say the same I can't complain. I'm thankful for being alive. I am so yeah. thankful for being alive. Today was a good day. I opened my eyes. Yeah. I woke up today. So many can't say the same. I can't complain. I'm thankful for being alive. Yeah. Shalom, Ox, Shalom. Shalom, Ox. How you doing out there, man? I'm a little stuffy. My allergies acting up on me. That's why I got this mask on, man. It's killing me out here. But other than that, man, I'm great. Yes, sir. My kids going through the same thing. I said, man, that weather, that weather changing, whatever they spraying out there, that junk out there, we buying in the mighty name of Yahusha. Getting our people sick, man, right. going through that hay fever, eyes watering, nose running. Come on, man. man. Definitely oh, all crazy. Man. Yes, sir. Listen, we came to bring an update regarding the second Hebron man's gathering. Y'all see what went on last year. Y'all seen what you missed out on. Listen. I want to extend you a personal invite. Come on down there with Moray Yashavahu, Elder Shemai. Come on down there with Ock Brandon Lewis. Bring your brother and bring your sons. You know what I'm saying? Come on down. We got the Coltes that's going to be down there cooking up some good food for y'all, man. Listen, you're going to be on 40 acres. Y'all, 40 acres owned by Israelites. 4-0, 40 acres. Add another zero to that. We got 400, so it's a done deal. Hallelujah. But listen, I want to extend. Listen, come on. Right. Get, tell them what's going on, man. Give them an update of what's happening. We already talked about the praise and worship. Well, listen, I know we got Lord. I ain't going to let you. I'm going to let you bring it out. Well, uh, all praise to the most high. Shalom to the brethren, first off. Uh, but yeah, uh, we got the second Hellbroad Men's Gathering. Uh, this year it's all about praise and worship and um it's looking like it's gonna be bigger and better um getting a lot of feedback a lot of people trying to get in where they fit in um <laughs> uh we all planning on having live concerts we have several mm -hmm. artists confirmed to come we got lorvin's uh, we got Imanon, Yasharala, we got Ty Sir, Moshe. Uh, Moshe. Um, uh, I, Kodesh, Reggie Kodesh. Yeah, Reggie coming Kodesh, out. shout out to Ak, my Ak. Uh, Christian rapper turned Israelite rapper. Um, Derek Minor, huh? <laughs> Derek Minor. Shout out to Derek Minor, man. Um, and anybody else who is an artist who wants to come, we got four days. We'll get you on stage. <laughs> you know, you we'll get, get you on there. As long as you got some good, righteous content, get with 
DJ Yoel, while you there, he going to be up on stage with the ones and twos. Get with Ibanon, the MC. Tell him, hey, I got some music. I want to get on. Can I get on? We'll find a time to get you on. Yes, sir. Anybody with testimonies, you know, you know, just have a, a um, any kind of a positive word to bring forth, man. You get on stage, we'll put the mic in your hand, man. You know, it's all about really just unwinding, man, and 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 uh, uh um. Men being men and being comfortable around other men. And our sons and our young ones being able to see men do that. Instead of arguing, instead of being in strife and backbiting and all that, man. And 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 not having other nations all up and in between us, man. You know, yes, just sir. black yes, men. Sir. Nothing against the other nations. Nothing against the strangers and the sojourners and all that, right? All praise to the most high for them and they help and they, you know, diligence and all that. But this gathering is geared towards the healing and the restoration of the, you know, Hebraic Negro man. Um, yes, sir. And yeah, that's what it's about. All praise. All praise, man. Listen, come on out, man. Come on out. Listen, I know uh, Moray, you Sabah, who's in them, um, uh, Elder Shemai, man, good people, good people. 40 acres out there. You got a pond that's, you got a lake. I, it ain't even a pond, it's a lake. An uh, acre and a half. Sitting on an acre and a half, man. Bring your poles, man. Bring your guns out there. They got the shooting range. We actually had... Uh, Wait, uh, real quick, I, I hate to cut you off, but I'm so no, glad you brought up bringing your guns. Cause I need to address something, right? I had a sister um, on the Hellbron page. There's a picture of me and several brothers, even none, Ty Serve, Elder Art, another brother. I cannot think of his name, but he is the husband of the princess of the South community, the daughter of Elder Saab Nuke, her husband. He was on there. All these brothers got guns. All these brothers shoot guns. And I'm in the back holding, you know, my little baby. And the woman says, uh, you know, we're not for assault rifles. We're not about assault rifles, right? I want to address that. Go Listen, ahead. I'll take your time. Me and none of my brothers trust in guns. First of all, the elders are some of the nicest, humblest brothers you ever meet. They scrapped up like Mexican bandits. <laughs> and they good with them. They can shoot with them, too. Yes, sir. So, um, we got to understand that being disarmed and being ill-prepared is a tool of white supremacy. They want yes, us unarmed. They teach their babies how to shoot. Yeah, they do. Where when you is? look in the Bible, when you read them scriptures, they all had swords. They all dealt. Listen, the prophets put me in the death. They call down fire. They call lions. They call, you know, stopping the sun. They called all kind of things down upon their yes. enemies and upon the enemies of the children of Yasharal, man. Yes, so I don't know where they, people they get this whole mindset. Yeah, I don't know where people get this whole mindset that we're going to have to pray away physical danger. The Most High empowers his people to face and conquer danger, but they do it with weapons. They go and slay. He has true enough. The most high has 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 uh 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 crippled armies with blindness, crippled them with fear, and then he sent people to go kill them. Yes, sir. So let's not act like let's not act like there isn't a time for bloodshed. The Bible tells you that. May we never have to shed a drop of it. But thinking that um, we just going to learn all this stuff we're supposed to know, we're going to learn it at the drop of a dime. You're going to learn how to shoot. You're going to learn how to aim. You know, it's it's crazy, man. The same people that say that got locks on their doors. If you so trusting and you so prayerful that no harm is going to ever befall you or that no enemy will ever try to harm you, why your door is locked? 
So I don't real Why talk, your car door is locked? Real talk. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you know, we live in a time where when Moshe came off the mountain from getting the instructions from the most high, he had to kill about three thousand people when he got down. <laughs> he and it did. wasn't it was not considered to be a transgression. A priest killed a man in the temple for sleeping with a prostitute. It was not considered to be a transgression. But now when you see your brothers with guns, you say, oh, no. See, we ain't we ain't about no gun. That's your problem. That's what we That's condition your problem. to believe. You don't understand. Yeah, you don't understand the spirit and the truth. The spirit is that you don't trust. The spirit is that you pray for discernment, that you pray for strength, you pray for guidance, so that in the truth, in the flesh, you can carry it out. People so caught up in being spiritual, they ain't no earthly good. <laughs> and, and, and people have to understand the difference, man. You're not trusting in the flesh because you are a protector of your family. Somebody break in your house, they don't want to hear no prayers. No, they wouldn't hear, they, they hear this AR-15 ringing out. Then talk to This is a humble brother right here. He bred TV, spirit TV. But I bet you he'll put some on you. You come in his house, wrong. Ah, uh, 223. Two, Take that right up. 223. Two, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Listen, me and my brothers, uh, uh, our KFA at the last gathering, we had a picture of us holding our staff in one hand and our yeah. guns in another hand. And I at the time, picture. it wasn't no real um, it was just the picture. But it speaks a whole lot. The staff is the staff can be, you know, guided, leading, uh, uh, you know, peace. Staff for peace. Yeah. But if that ain't what you want, if you disregard the staff for peace and a correction and guidance, you know, when we got that rod, we got that other rod of correction for you. <laughs> you know? And that's yeah. what this gathering is about, man. Men need to hear this. Young boys yeah. need to hear this. That you can yeah, let me love say this, huh? and embrace. Go ahead, let, me say, let me say this. For all y'all out there, Y'all need to go read Mac the book of Maccabees. Y'all need to go read the book of Maccabees and understand what happened on that Shabbat when them ones didn't want to fight. But the other one said, no, we're going to get down lest we die today. No. So you have to understand, like the scripture said, there's a time and season for everything. But I don't see anything wrong with protecting your house. Protecting you, protecting your environment. I got girls in my home. So all praise to the most high. He'll let me know what to do. But if, if it push come to shove and shove come to push, we're going to push back. Absolutely. Real That's why these people kill us. That's why these people do what they want to us. Because there is no, no threat of reprimand. When you see that picture, when you see that picture of me and them brothers, me behind the brothers with that, just letting you know. You know, listen, the most high do everything. Like it, it, it just happened so crazy that that picture was taken. But it's like, yeah. it's about the love and about the unity. And at the end, listen, however you want to take it, we want to give you this love. You know, we'll put this brass in your ass, though, if need be. You know, <laughs> but may we have peace and shalom. But the most high use men. To do things, how you think them three thousand people got killed when they came off that mound? When <laughs> Moshe came off that mound, most I had to use men to do it to make a statement. You know that this is how the the law is full of judgments where people must be killed and stoned and 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 lashings and 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 put away and all all kind of all all metal stuff. And people, we so far removed from that because we still got Christianity in us, man. Yes, you know? Ain't yes, nobody sir. hoping to hurt nobody. But I'm not no, going to be no looking, fool. We ain't, and ain't nobody. Nobody. we ain't looking for that, but if you Talk bring it, we're going to bring it. 
Gotta bring it, man. Gotta bring it. We not Gotta out hunting. We not out trying. trying to book. No, we not out looking for no problems. But it always seemed to come to the bruise. It always seemed to present itself to us. And a lot of us are unprepared because we still got that Christianity mindset of not defending ourselves. When he said, when the most, when the Yahushua said, you know what I'm saying, uh, turn your team, he was talking to your brethren. He was speaking to the lost tribes. He was speaking to Israelites. He wasn't speaking to the enemy. The scriptures was mm. never to the enemy. They were to us. He was talking about your brethren. Everything was addressed to us, my beloved, my brethren, my kinsmen of the flesh. So we have to understand that. Like you said, we need to deprogram a lot of people to get this abrade mindset to understand what the most high wants and who he, who what type of man that we're supposed to be. We ain't no jelly back weaklings out here. We full of the ruach and we'll bring it as well. This it's a scripture that say. When we go into the wilderness the second time, it says parents will slay their children for wickedness. People don't know what book they read, man. There is the most high is all about love, all about, you know, um uh uh joining his children to him like a mother hen. But it's also a hell for a reason. People going in it. He's not going to be crying about it because he didn't gave you all air and opportunity. That's that's the same thing me and my brothers would do. We'll give you all air and opportunity for love and respect. And you don't want to get it, then hey, we got to try a different method then. And you know, I didn't want this to be all about that, but I wanted to address that because yeah. you know, that's why we need the gathering. Because this is the mindset we got to have. We got to take more of a personal interest, a firm interest, you know, and combine the faith and the prayer with the structure and the and the discipline and the firm correction that's needed, man. Us as men, we got to take a firmer hand with our women, with our children, with our neighbor, and not okay. leaving so much room to be used, to be beat on, to be lied to, to be cheated. People got to know they're dealing with a man. Hamashiach said, you know. To take a strong man's house first, you got to bind him. We bound, man. We bound with Christianity. We bound with all this stuff that tell us turn the other cheek to, to wickedness and oppression. You know, he was talking about turning the other cheek to your repentant brother. Yeah, exactly. Said when he repents, you forgive him seven times, seven in yeah, your seven. Yeah. And that's only yeah, if he repent. Yes, sir. You know, it's crazy. People don't because, talk about that part. If he repent. Nah, nah they, they, a lot of people, a lot of, see, what happens is a lot of us that were in Christianity and come over here have not actually transformed our minds because we'll take one scripture and take that one scripture and run on it and run on it instead of precepting and bringing the whole thing together to see how the most high had you thinking then, how this act thought right here, how this act thought right here, I presented this situation. So that's why we precept. That's why he said line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, because you get to it, because see the scriptures tell you that, listen, we know in part and we prophesy in part, so let's put it together so we'll know it. So these, these listen, our mindset has to change completely. It, it totally has to change. I come from the streets of LA. I was raised with guns. My father, who loved to hunt, had guns all in the closet, guns in the bedroom, guns in the bedroom closet. We had a rack in the back back then where he had guns that he showcased. But I knew how to shoot all of them. I come up on guns. I was not fearful of them. And a lot of us that didn't come up on them, we got this We got this stigma, oh, we in the most high. You know, when he told him, grab your sword, go with your sword. Wherever you're going, take your sword with you. Go out there. So, but back to the gathering, man. Hey. <laughs> Real quick, I want to touch on that. And I came up with people using them. I never had one. I could never get one. I really wanted to get them and use them on people and really take people away from them. But I'm praising to the most high 
He didn't allow me to get one until yes, I came into this walk and got a family. Yes. Now I got it for myself. I got it around the time of, you know, it was a shortage of food and stuff was coming off the shelf. And I, I said, man, I got to get a gun. I got to get a gun. Because one thing about it, me and my family ain't going hungry. And we started storing up food and, and storing up water and all that. I'm like, the people that ain't got no food, they're going to have guns. Yeah, that's something else you people gotta know. We don't, we don't know how long we gonna be here. You know, we could be here a couple more days, or we could be here a hundred more years. We don't know, and we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. The Most High aims to take the the grins off these heathens' faces, one way or another. They too cocky, they too happy in wickedness, and he gonna break it. Now he can break it with famine. He could crash the economy and have people out here broke and starving and hungry. Now, all praises, you know, I've been planning for something like that to have some cushion. But all you people talking about you're going to pray your way out of it and you're going to do. No, if, you, if, if you're doing it in spirit and in truth, your spirit's supposed to told you and say a wise man sees destruction coming and prepares for it. You know? You got to make a way. And, you know, uh, you're not going to come kicking my doors in talking about you finna take some. You're going to take some. It ain't going to be what you want. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, come on, come on now. Let's talk about the gathering, man. Yes, sir. Listen, shout out to my man, I'm Brandon Lewis. Love you, bro. You keep it 1,000 every Thank time, you, man. And, and it's just crazy, man. Um, shout out to your Hokanai man, the Hebrew switchboard, my man DJ Yoel, uh, Ag Lorenz, man, Demetri Pruitt, man, uh, Zoo, man, Yasharala, man, Moshe and them. Uh, this family, I, and the, I know it's going down at the gathering. I know it's going to be a beautiful time. I know oh, it's going to be a beautiful we time. We trying to have some spade tournaments. We want now this a, a couple brothers like to play chess. You know, I'm one of the chess players. I'm a thinker. So we go, you know, listen, late night at the men's gathering, it goes down. A lot of the brothers trying to perform or whatever, because we'll probably have different things throughout the day. The nighttime is probably going to be the best time, but you ain't got to go to work in the morning. So we're going to be, we're going to be drinking some libations, you know, <laughs> having a little, just listen, if you are all, uh, you know, a mean drunk, and you like, listen, we got to put your time out. We not about that. If you can't be casual, you can't drink and maintain your modesty, then you ought not to be drinking. But we try to have a good atmosphere, you know, late night barbecues and sitting, chopping it up, man. It's a video on the Hellbrun men page. We was up to about 2, 3 in the morning, man, with a bonfire, roasting chicken, First time I seen the elder cook, uh, he cooked sweet potatoes in the fire on some coals. He took the sweet wow. potatoes and put them on top of the, on the coals and covered them up with more coals. I said, man, that's some country, that's some country stuff right there. I had never heard of that like that. <laughs> yes, but it, sir. Man, yes, listen, sir. it was good, man. We were yes, sitting sir. around, we drinking wine, we playing music. Just having a good time that you're not going to, listen, you're not going to get this experience nowhere else. Nowhere else will you be able to sit around the fire, sit around the pond with 50 to 100 to, y'all willing, a couple hundred brothers to show up out here, man. You know yes, what I'm sir. talking about? We need to fill yeah. every little spot of grass up with a tent. Yes, sir. And really have it. ourselves a good time, man. Yes, sir. I believe it. I, I believe it. Listen, come on down. Listen, all the information is on this page right here. Or you can actually go on Facebook and look it up. The second annual Hebron, H-E-B-R-O-N, Men's Gathering down in Altamont, Tennessee. Y'all need to be there. Listen, stop playing. Get in. the Y'all that are in the South. I, listen, I, I got a problem. If you in the South and you two hours away, I got a problem with you. And you not there and you're a bro, I'm man, nine hours away. Oh, uh, he nine hours. I'm two days away. <laughs> so I'm, but I'm saying, get to you right there, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, um, 
uh, Memphis, all around and then come on down. Uh, quit tripping off your, your quit quit worrying about your camp. Quit worrying about your assembly. Come on down and fellowship with the nation. The Ox got us saying down there, 12 tribes, one nation. We need to keep that in mind. About. Yes, sir. We need to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Shout out to, to the elders down there, you, your Sabbath hoop man, and man, Elder Shemai, man, love y'all, man. Doing a great thing. 40 acres down there. Listen, the waterfall, you're going to get a chance to experience the waterfall jump. Have your sons jump. Immersion. Man, that, the immersion's going on. Immer Immersions. If you would like to get baptized, aka immersed, um, the elders said they aren't going to plan on a set time for having immersions until they get a number of people that want to do it. So, if you're seeing this video and you want to get immersed, or if you know somebody that's been talking about getting immersed, uh, uh, you know quote-unquote black man, Negro man, okay, we're not, or, you know, youth, we're not, we're not catering to the other nations on this one. We are unapologetic, unap unapologetically. Yeah, that's it right Big there. Big word. Yeah. Unapologetic. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We, yes, sir. We're not caring about people being in their feelings about not being invited, okay? Um, we plan on having all the gatherings in which it'll be all inclusive. But this particular gathering, the Hebron and Mia's gathering, is to address the fact that the black man in America has been scarred, has been abused. You know, we're being murdered in the streets. We're being locked up in prison. I myself been to prison four times, been in the county jail. Oh, yeah. Four times, not can count. And it's like, we need to learn to get that love for each other that the streets yeah. didn't allow us to have. Yes. The streets didn't allow us to hug our brothers in, in love and affection. That's homosexual no. in the street. Yeah, that's it. Real talk. Even in this walk, even in this walk, the scripture tells you to greet your brother with a kiss. With a holy kiss. Brothers ain't greet each other with kisses. It's not, it's not happening. We do the cheek to cheek. Ain't no lips touching cheeks. Because there's this this feeling of it being homosexual when it's really, you know, a thing of adoration and a thing of affection that's not in a homosexual nature. You know, that's what's wrong with us. That's why we don't mourn for real when our people die, man, because we remove, man. And this gathering is about rebuilding that to get that, that love and affection back for each other. Yeah, we go bring your guns, bring your guns. Cause listen, the guns is a part of the the mindset of preparedness and of you know just protection. How you gonna protect your family? You can't hit the side of a barn. You scared <laughs> to hit a gun go off. You got a gun, yeah. going, you, you all up here with, with, with the gun. That ain't going to work, man. <laughs> you know, you got to get used to that thing. Like I said, I went my whole life without no gun. I'm accurate with that thing now, and yes, I'm sir. blind. I hit a nigga down the block, though, that thing. <laughs> it, it's got to be the most high. I know I'm blind as a bat, but I hit him down the block. Ask the elders about it. They'll tell you about this, this video. But anyway. Yes, sir. And yeah, listen, I'm going man, in, it, man. Get on out there. Yes, sir. And I, you know, I tell P, I tell Ox, I said, listen, a lot of us coming from the streets, we had a facade on us. We were built up to be something else because we had to be the tough guy. We had to be the down homie. We had to put on everything else. Oh, man, I'm such and such, man. I'm with the business. I'm with all this. And, you know, all that stuff build up on us. And we still break. We still, a lot of us still have that on us. And we're, we're in the truth and we, it should not be. Because the, the scripture said, if any man be in Yahushua Hamashiach, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So come on down and break that layer of those facades, that tough guy attitude, that, oh, you still got that street mentality. You still got that mindset. You know what I'm saying? You still got your walls up, and these are your brethren that love you. And you really never experienced love, so come down here and experience the love. Let your guard down. Let somebody love you. 
You know what I'm saying? Let y'all break that stony heart down and so he can get in there so you can start to actually feel the move of the Ruach. And you won't worry about what the conversation is because your heart is broken down and you and the Ruach begin to move and you will understand the move of it because a lot of us got stony hearts. We got hard hearts. And we over here saying we love the most high who is loving, but we got a hard heart and we, we got discontent against each other. We're so quick to fall back into the old ways of doing things or treat each other a bad way or write somebody off or, or act crazy with somebody when we're, and that's not being Ruach led. So we have come on down and enjoy the love. Enjoy the, sometimes you're going to need to cry. You might want to come cry. Come let it, let it out. Talk about it. What's bothering you? These are oxen that's going to listen to you and pay attention to you. They're going to pray for you. They're going to lay hands. They gonna, some of them going to cry with you. You know, come on down. I, I experienced the love of the brethren. I experienced the love, they, how they showed me. When my wife died in December. My mom died a week before her. Then my wife died a week later. And the outpour from Israel was overwhelming. It was great. I had a cold taste checking on me, calling me. Are you all right, Doc? We love you. We're praying for you. Uh, you need to cry, cry. I was on the man's line shedding tears with my ox. You know, so we need to experience that true love. Come on down. Let your walls down. Get them things broken down in you. Some of y'all need deliverance. You, Some of y'all are so mean and mad and you're walking around with a mug on your face every day. Oh, brother, you're the most high. Man, you need to get delivered. Your Ruach need to be filled. Your, it be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. Some of y'all just as evil and mean and call yourself saints of the, of the most high. But come, come down and experience the love so those things can be torn down in you. I can't stress it enough. We need deliverance. We need deliverance in so many different ways. And I believe this is just a stepping stone for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? If you got dependencies on, on, on the drugs and all that, come down there. You don't know what y'all going to do for you. I just believe this is something going to happen because we're rolling into Pentecost. And I, I'm looking for a move of the Most High during the Pentecost. So he said when he came, you know what I'm saying? We got to go back to Joel, what Joel said. In the last days, he's going to pull out his ruach upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Some of y'all need a word. You need to be in the midst of the Ruach. Because some of y'all are sitting in these dead camps, these dead assemblies, and ain't no Ruach in them. So you need to get somewhere where the Ruach is. Some of y'all don't hear nothing. You hear precepts, but ain't no Ruach behind the precepts. It ain't no move of this Ruach behind it. Paul said the letter kill it, but the Ruach give life. Remember that. The second annual men, Hebron men's gathering. I'm looking for it to be a move of the most high, an outpouring of the Ruach. Come on, I'm telling you, I'm just looking. I believe that. Hey, I was talking earlier in the video. It's entitled uh, Hebron men's gathering. What else you looking for? You yes, know, sir. Uh, um, we got to realize that everything that's being done is being done against the black man. Mostly they really don't care what the white man do. They don't care what the Asian man do or whatever, cause there ain't no power in their freedom of mind and of body. But it's a lot that will change when our minds get free, when our bodies get free, you know, their reign is based upon, our subjection and don't be uh fool this gathering and what it means what it stands for is is very anti-white supremacy not us i mean well you gotta take it you gotta take it how it is man yeah it's it's anti white supremacy. Anything that seeks to bind us, that seeks to hold us back from being what we're supposed to be, what we call to be, you know, this gathering is against that. So, um, you have to expect, um, you know, fight back, spiritual yeah. fight back and physical, you know, uh, people going to tell you, you shouldn't go thoughts going to pop up in your mind about why you shouldn't go uh, 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 how inconvenient it's going to be if you go and all that. You got to fight it. You got to fight it. Um, 
it was a movie, man. I want to say Pulp Fiction. When they was paying old boy to take a dive in his fight, he said, oh, uh, you feel that? That's your conscience messing with you. He ain't said messing with you. He said messing with you. You know, yeah. like you need to, <laughs> you need to let that go. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, that's kind of what it's like, but it's high to turn. It's the adversary that's going to be messing with you, trying to keep you from a place that can free you. Amar Shank said, wherever. I had to tell somebody this earlier today because um, somebody was tripping off of a church building and how most I don't dwell with temples and all. That is true. But Amashiach said, wherever two or more of you are gathered together in his name, he'll be among you. Yes. So that's the mindset we got to have of just coming together. And, you know, crying out in unison, man. Once you get there and them elders get to playing on them instruments and get to praying and get to... Because, listen, every morning, Elder Shammai uh, and Elder Saab Newt pray. And you going to know when Elder Saab Newt about to pray because you going to hear that... <laughs> you going to hear that uh, hear that horn going off. He know how to blow that thing, too. You know, hey, it's going to feel like the Bible when he get to blowing that thing off. <laughs> Like man, man, blowing that thing like it's a real like he in the band or something. But yeah, and, and it's just a whole spiritual side to it. And then when you add in the trees and you add in the the birds chirping and the crickets cricketing and uh, listen, man, it's nothing like you ever experienced before. And then when you find yourself dealing with brothers and laughing. And being in agreement instead of going back and forth in a heated debate, in a heated discussion. Yeah, yes, yes. You're going you're gonna to look at that thing and be like, man, I don't want to go. <laughs> That's how brothers be. That's the last one. Nobody wanted to go, man. Nobody wanted to go. And when you pull up and introduce yourself, you're hugging brothers. It's cheek to cheek. It's cheek to cheek the whole time. Listen, you're going to get tired of doing cheek to cheek. <laughs> this is where I got immersed. I got immersed, came up out that water. I had to take the take about about 40 brothers. You just get, you get, after a while, you're like, man, that's just hard. That's just hard flat out. That's the cheek, cheek thing. Get this. But, man, it's beautiful, man. And it's something that's much needed, man. We need yes, it sir. like we need our next breath. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the thing, the thing about it, man. I can feel the love from way out here. I'm in California. I can feel the love from way out here. And me and Yoke, me and Yohoke and I talk about it. Uh, you know, we gotta we we gotta get your side over there back on. And, and it's a pleasure to work with Ox such as yourself and with Moray, your Sabahu, and Elder Shamaya, you know, and then especially with DJ Yoel. Man, shout out to DJ Yoel. The the brothers Ruach is just so beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Then Eminem, man, I love Eminem. That's your hype man of the year right there, man. Em and I going to say he going to turn it out. <laughs> Shout out to Em and I. I know you going to turn it out. I, I ain't even no doubt he about is. it. You, it's old. Listen, I can't wait to see Ibanon do like a live freestyle with a keyboard and a microphone. Yes, sir. I can't wait. The boy, listen, the man is so talented, man. It's, it's got to be spiritual. That's how talented he is. Yeah. And then you get the elders come behind on the pick. It's a video uh, on the page, on the Hellbrun page of Ibanez at the keyboard and the elders behind him. Now, he takes a while to get started up because he's trying to figure out the keyboard and how it's set up. But when he finally get going, you see the elders start to they start to looking around. <laughs> they go to picking up instruments. They elder pick up the guitar and he get the tune in that thing. And then <laughs> Elder Shamai, now Elder Shamai is the guitar man. But yes, Elder Somnu picked up his. So Elder Shamai goes and hops on the drums. 
And they, man, they come together, man, and make and do a whole jam session, man. Praising the Most High, man. Yes, Led sir, by yes, even the Yasserala, man. I'm telling you, it. I listen. Be there or be square. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what more we got to tell you. Anything here. that's keeping you from me. If it's something keeping you from this, besides just utterly. Just not being able to call. I'm talking about seriously not. I'm talking about you stuck between a rock and a hard place can't come. Anything outside of that, you got to check your walk, man. I'm just saying, what else are you looking for? I don't say it to me like what we doing is, is, is just whatever. I'm talking about the fact of I don't hear about this happening nowhere else. Yes. Yeah. I don't hear about it happening to the magnitude in which we trying to do it. I know it's me and gadgets, but usually it's all inclusive. Any man can come. Any man from anywhere can come or whatever. And it's not, you know, geared towards, you know, the whole Hebraic mindset of, you know, righteousness mixed with masculineness. You get what I'm saying? This, This is what this thing is about. Yeah, so sir. man, come on down, man. Yeah, and I, you, you know can't what? always I, count I, on the next one. You know what? I extend a challenge to you, brothers out there. Some of y'all listening, circulate this, man. Share this with everybody. Share this on your timeline. Share this with the with the ox all over, please, man. Share this. Share this. Share this. Listen, because we're gonna be bringing more ruach led content, and prayerfully, we're gonna be going live strictly from there, man. And we want you to understand, you don't have to sit up in your camp wondering if these brothers are straight. You don't have to sit up in your assembly, man, are those those brothers okay? Man, you know the Ruach is tugging at you. You know the Ruach is Come tugging on at you. Come on down. I challenge you. I challenge you, Ox, in these camps, man. Now, now, you know you want to go ahead. You got to come on up. It's on yeah. the mountain. You got to come on up. You got to come up the mountain. You got to come up the mountain. You gotta come up to mouth. Yes, sir. You sitting down there, man. You you ox, man. Come on, Morris and y'all. Morris, Josh, y'all down there, man. Come on, man. A new birth. Y'all come on. Bring y'all ox down there. Y'all right down there in Georgia. All you other camps is down there, assemblies, man. All you ox down in Alabama. Come on, come on up there with man with Azariah and them. Azariah and them is coming on up. Come on down, y'all in Cincinnati. Come on down, y'all all in Ohio. Come on down. What are y'all doing? Come on down. Get out, your, get out the four corner. Elder Sam's one. Come on, huh? What'd you say, Chosen seed, chosen seed. Yeah, come on, huh? What you say, huh? Chosen seed. Chosen Detroit. Seat. I said, where they at? Chosen where y'all at, huh? Ah? Come on now. Come on. Y'all, y'all right there, two or three hours, four hours away. All you ox down in North Carolina, South Carolina. All you ox down there in Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. Come on out your names, man. Come down there. Let's make a show of force. Let's make our voice echo through the heavens as one. Let's shout unto the, the scriptures say, listen, I look to the hills from which come my help. My help come from Yahuwah. Y'all going to be on the hill. You're going to be on the mountain. Let's shout unto Yahuwah and give him the praise and bring everybody together. Twelve tribes, one nation. Come on out. Ak. It's going to be one nation. Hallelujah. We're going to be back soon. In a few days, give you another update. Come back, man. I appreciate you, Ak. Anytime, Ak. Shalom right. to the brethren. Twelve tribes. One nation. We are. One nation. There you go. You get it out. By the time you leave, you're going to have it down. You're going to have it yes, down sir. by the time you leave. Huh? <laughs> We're going to say it a million times. Yes, sir. Hey, yeah. Shalom to the brethren. As my ox said, we love y'all. Peace and blessings. May the Murak Hakadesh be in your homes everywhere you go. Hallelujah. We out.